I'm going to briefly describe a virtual laboratory that we created to measure vapor liquid equilibrium for a binary mixture. And the idea is we can fix the liquid composition at some value and then use the simulation to determine the vapor composition. And we want to make a number of these measurements and then use nonlinear regression to determine the two parameters in a two parameter modules equation that best fit the data. So the virtual laboratory is located at this link on the Learn Chem e site. And let's look at the simulation. So if you open the simulation for the first time, it's going to fix some parameters A12 and A21 for the non-ideal model for vapor liquid equilibrium. And if you open again on the same browser, it's going to keep those values so you can collect some data, go away, come back later, reopen the simulation virtual laboratory, and you're going to be working with the same values. If you hit reset or you open on a different computer or a different browser, then you're going to get new values of A12 and A21. So within the simulation, we have documentation that talks about how to get started and what the learning objectives are. And then there's video instructions that works through how to use it. So I won't do that here. I'll just briefly describe the idea that we can, we can change the amount of liquid A in the boiling class when we start the experiment. The remaining liquid then is component B. And from densities and molecular weights, we can calculate what the mole fraction in the liquid phase is. The simulation assumes that the volume of the liquid is very large compared to the volume that's in this holdup. It's not drawn to scale. So that the starting liquid composition is what we're going to use when we calculate equilibrium because there's such a small amount that's not in this original flask. The simulation, if I say collect sample, then you can see on the right we're collecting a sample. And then that sample is analyzed by GC and we have a mole fraction for component A. We can then change the different value and collect another sample. The simulation stores all these measurements so we can download them. And we're going to have a spreadsheet. And it shows that I made two measurements and I had previously made a couple measurements and came back to the same browser. And so I have the same parameters. After you've made a number of measurements, then you can submit your answers. So you've made the measurements, calculate both the two parameters and their confidence intervals, confidence limits. And then you can select, and I'm just going to put numbers in here just to show what happens. So I can enter and enter a name and then view results. And it's going to show me what the correct values are, what values I entered. And then this could be used by an instructor that you can submit this page, which you know is watermarked, so you can just copy this page and submit it to get credit along with, for example, a lab report. 